Dubai Aerospace is developing the Sunflyer family of aircraft in addition to a family of advanced, high-altitude, long-endurance, solar-electric, unmanned aerial vehicles. The first prototype for the Sunflyer 2 completed its first flight on April 10, and the company is working on the four-seater Sunflyer 4, which is fine-tuned to the kind of flying single-engine charter is most often used for. The key thing around the Sunflyer 4, it's a 3,400-pound gross weight airplane, 850-pound payload, 165 knots, two, two and a half hours at that kind of speed. Of course, four hours or more at reduced speed. But the practical application for the Sunflyer 4 is a remarkable payload without being diminished or trade off with Avgas for on-demand air charter. If you're kind of looking at a 200 or 250 nautical mile range circle, this is absolutely transformative and it's a great opportunity because of the operating cost differential for electric airplanes. And the time spent on the ground recharging between legs is less than you'd think. The time on the ground for recharge is a technology that's tied to batteries but it's also kind of the electric vehicle industry that's leading this development of these charging systems. The battery cells that we're working with today are a 3C rating in terms of recharge, which means if I fly for an hour, in theory, I can recharge in about 20 minutes. So you think about that equation for flight training or for business use, fly for an hour, fly for two hours, recharge in 20 minutes or 40 minutes respectively. The Sunflyer 2 is expected to be certified in 2020 and production should ramp up quickly. The key with my aerospace and the Sunflyer is a practical electric trainer that's ready under the new FAR Part 23, the new certification program from the FAA to provide a practical near-term solution. We're innovating today to solve a business problem, the pilot shortage. And what we're talking about with the Sunflyer is the electric technology providing a big part of the answer to meet that problem. So production will follow FAA certification and we'll be doing that in Colorado, starting with the Sunflyer 2, followed by the Sunflyer 4. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.